There's two new changes for Flutterflow plans. First of all, Flutterflow for Teams, and second, expanded feature for the free plan. Keep watching. Let's dive in. First of all, we have up to two API endpoints in free plan. This will help you to build more complex applications for all the goals you need. For all those guys that didn't try Pro plan of Flutterflow, let's check it. We are going to API configuration, add API, and here we have all the bells and whistles that we need. You put the information, hitting add call, and voila, it works. This feature will increase your ability to work with Flutterflow and build more and more complex applications. Nice. Second thing in free plan right now, you can use Firestore Content Manager. Before this update, you could use Content Manager just in pro plan. So guys, let's dive in. We are going to Firestore Collections and here we have Manage Content button. Let's hit it. Whoop. Here you can choose your collection. I have just users. You can have much more. So. We are pushing add document and here you have all the data that you need for your document in your collection. The standard plan and pro looks pretty much the same for me. So let's check what we have in team plans. We are going to the main dashboard, hitting my organization and here we have create team button. Here are a few things you will be able to do with team plan. Right now it's just managing billing for your whole team in one spot, but in the future you will be able to set read-only versus editor access and organize the sets, teams, custom widgets and more at the organization level. You can put your data here and press create team button. There's one note. Team plans are annual and require a minimum of two users. Also, there is team plans FAQ in the description with questions about how to create a team, purchase seats, etc. 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 This is all for now. Wesley Jacobs here, and you watched We Love Flutterflow channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. See ya!